Chief Executive Officer, Treasury Consulting, and also a venture capitalist. As we speak, Treasury Consulting Group is a multinational headquartered group based out India, Singapore, and Hong Kong. We are a multi-million valuation group with 100% cash, which precisely means we are 100% profitable. Not a single dollar, not a single dollar of debt and not a single dollar of funding committed by any private equity or venture capitalist firm, nor we interested as we speak. This is Treasury Consulting for you. In 2018, I raised my voice to SoftBank. And only the intelligent people knew that who was correct. History is a witness that OYO, WeWork, Airbnb, and many such examples came in public, specifically talking WeWork, that proved that how fake were the valuations. I remember two years ago, not a single day, not a single day passed when we work were not in the pictures. When these media people were not highlighting the we work that it is valued at $50 billion. I remember at one point of time, Uber was also valued 100 billion, 100 billion. It's around two years to Google list here to Uber listing. And you see it is at what price or oh, forget the 100 billion. But a very interesting fact of life is the media is reached at that level of corruption where it is endless. It's really endless. Let it be honest. Nowadays, a different level of corruption is happening in the world of financial market. And that level of corruption is nothing but SPAC. SPAC stands for Special Purpose Acquisition Company. Simplistically speaking, a blank check company, which I say SPAC. So SPAC is nothing but it's a backdoor listing vehicle that wouldn't be past the screening process of an IPO. So what the hell is SPAC? When companies fail to reach IPO due to the screening process, by the way, now it is also not feasible because the countries like United States approved so many companies, those who don't even deserve for IPO like Robin Hood. Robin Hood, you please check on Google and see that the mess Robin Hood is facing. Please be rest assured we are planning a detailed video in that regards. So SPAC is nothing but a backdoor entry. In Singapore also SPAC is now more or less legalized. And one SPAC that got listed substantially eroded the investor's wealth, substantially. And the regulator, Monetary Authority of Singapore is clueless as usual. But please be rest assured, I would be targeting a very detailed video in that regards. Plus, I would be targeting the one billion of nickel scandal happened in Singapore. Now, what is happening in the world is that SPAC 
are trying to create a rubbish example i read for you target companies will need to meet the same standards as those are listed directly in other words you can't use the blank check to buy the rubbish but what is happening in spac in the last few we few months we have seen many indian companies opting for spacs outside india many outside indian companies those who operate in india they also looking for spacs special purpose acquisition company or a blank check company spacs are getting listed in singapore united states and multiple parts of the globe it's nothing but a new model how a set of people buy a company from each other and increase the valuation and end result investors fail to recognize this as usual it is nothing new so the scene is like this very soon you will see that the private equity and the venture capitalist firm are now smart they now understand they knew that their fake valuation valuation game is over so no one is going to be trusting the valuation we have enough example uber lift peloton oyo zomato you know paytm nike ya policy bazaar robin hood we work list is endless they knew that the only way they can survive in this market is the listing of the company but the point is not all regulators are paid because they got the approval in us we know how security and exchange commission actually works there are ample of evidence that security and exchange commission chair people have a political background which is also known as pep politically exposed people please be rest assured we are planning a video in that regards in india also the loss making companies are approved and result a huge amount of money is lost did anyone thought about this anyone spoke about this no so the only resolution is either to buy the regulators or to create another vehicle called spac special purpose acquisition company so what the hell it is a bunch of investors which are predominantly private equity and venture capitalist buying another company so one set of pe selling company one set of pe buying this company the only thing is the valuation valuation and it is getting listed in the stock exchange like we it has just happened in singapore and you know what's the end result around 2/3 2/3 of the investor wealth is eroded completely eroded 2/3 which is 66% so today the investors needs to understand one thing i repeat investors needs to understand one thing thoroughly i repeat thoroughly is that they need to learn these tactics like in 2018 i warned people about the soft bank now i'm warning people don't go for spac it's another fraudulent way of cheating people but please be rest assured i am planning a comprehensive video in that regards rather a sequence of video in that regards the people who got offended after this video they can whatsapp me or they can call me my whatsapp number is 9899242978 but before i i leave if these private equity and venture capitalist people think 
that they can buy regulator and they can do whatever they love to, they need to understand that we still left with few people in the system who are beyond technical competency. Till now, I haven't contacted by SoftBank and Sequoia, even though I challenged them numerously. And their employees are looking at my LinkedIn profile numerously. But they haven't replied. This is Rahul Bhagan from Trishy Consulting Group. Have a great time ahead.